Welcome to Book for Dummies, podcast that aims to present an audio refresh to make APMP bid and proposal best practices accessible for everyone. In today's episode, we'll cover producing the proposal, which involves printing, creating media, packaging, and delivering it, and how to plan and coordinate these steps carefully. Additionally, we'll discuss how to respond to customer questions and concerns, prepare for oral presentations, capture lessons learned, and harvest reusable content after submitting the proposal in order to align your process with the customer's buying cycle and increase your chances of success by over-communicating and driving the process. So you've made it to the final stage of proposal development, producing the proposal. It's been quite the journey, hasn't it? You and your team have worked tirelessly to create a compelling argument for your customer to consider. Now, let's walk through the four sub-steps of producing the proposal together and cross that finish line. First up is printing the proposal. After all the planning, writing, and reviewing, it's time to turn your proposal into a reviewable copy that fulfills the customer's expectations. Whether you publish it in electronic format hard copy, or both, it's essential to make sure it's presentable. Consider printing your proposals in color to make key information stand out and reinforce your customers' brands. Don't forget about professional bindings, too. Comb or spiral binding for smaller proactive proposals and ring binders for larger reactive volumes can give your proposal that extra touch of professionalism. And here's a bonus tip. Try printing double-sided to be more environmentally friendly and create a less bulky package. If possible, submitting a digital copy in PDF format can be convenient and visually appealing. Next, let's talk about creating other media. Proposals have evolved, and it's no longer just about print. Smart proposers provide searchable media to help evaluators find what they're looking for quickly. You may need a media specialist who can convert print documents into PDFs, web pages, emails, and even multimedia formats like CDs, DVDs, or flash drives. Embracing technology can make your proposal more engaging and persuasive. Now, let's move on to packaging the proposal. Here's where things can get a bit tricky, depending on your customer's requirements. Make sure you carefully read and follow any packaging instructions in the bid. Consider ways to differentiate your proposal through the packaging, reflecting your customer's branding or distinctive attributes. However, in government sectors, keep in mind that clever packaging and delivery methods are discouraged. Lastly, it's time to think about delivering the proposal. After putting so much effort into the previous stages, You don't want your proposal to end up in the wrong hands or places. Plan your delivery methods, both electronic and hard copy, with meticulous attention to detail. Hedge your bets by contracting with two proven delivery companies and prioritize your deliveries. It's always a good idea to have a solid backup delivery plan ready to implement at a moment's notice. And remember, version control is key during the proposal production process. Make sure you're submitting the most up-to-date and compliant version of your proposal to avoid any disqualifications. And there you have it. The four sub-steps to producing the proposal. Printing, creating other media, packaging, and delivering. By following these steps, you'll be one step closer to success. Good luck! After submitting a proposal, the work is not over yet. In fact, this is when things start to get even more intense. The post-proposal stage consists of four phases, and the first two phases are crucial in determining whether you win or lose the bid. During this stage, it's common for customers to have questions or require clarifications. It's important to respond quickly and fully to these inquiries, while also reinforcing the customer's trust in your solution, brand, and team. As a proposal writer, you'll be closely involved in preparing any necessary revisions, presentations, or communications to address the customer's needs. 
Another important aspect of the post-proposal stage is preparing for oral presentations. Think of these presentations as job interviews for your organization. Customers often want to see how you solve problems or respond to challenges in real time. Being prepared for anything is key. Looking forward, it's essential to capture lessons learned from each proposal opportunity. Conducting a review after completing each project will help you improve your process in the future. Additionally, you should aim to harvest reusable content from your proposals. This could include storing successful content in an archive for future reference or maintaining a file of topics that can be used in future proposals. To succeed throughout the entire process, there are a few key principles to keep in mind. Documenting your process, aligning it with the customer's buying cycle, and clearly defining roles are all important steps. Over-communicating with your team and driving the process forward will also help maximize your chances of success. In conclusion, the post-proposal stage is a critical time for refining your proposal, preparing for presentations, capturing lessons learned, and leveraging reusable content. By following these guidelines and principles, you can increase your chances of winning the business you seek. On this episode, we discuss the comprehensive process of producing and submitting a proposal, including printing, media creation, packaging, and delivery, as well as the crucial steps of responding to customer inquiries, preparing for presentations, capturing insights, and aligning your process with the customer's buying cycle. Over-communicate, drive the process, and increase your chances of securing success. Thank you for joining us today on Book for Dummies, where we have explored an array of valuable insights and knowledge, and we can't wait to have you back with us for our next episode. Don't forget to subscribe!